Hi, this is Anne with my second quick anagram in this series on um, converting a simple two column table to the um, table of, of cumulative stats that you need for this week's exercise. Um, we've added the total row and now I'm going to add this column um, because there's some there's some peculiarities to adding this this column that make it um, a bit harder than I wanted to give you. Um, so I'm going to add everything here except for the total value, which you have to calculate um, after you do your part. Let me switch. You're going to have the assignment of adding this column. And then once you have the total number of deaths and the total number of confirmed, you can actually calculate this um, fatality percentage for the um, total row. I won't be able to add that this time because I don't have this number. Okay, so let me clear those out and stop annotating and go back to looking at the code. Okay, so um, I'm going to give myself as much space over here as I can to look at both of these. Um, the problem with uh, this this adding this value um, anywhere in the table or working with this property at all is that this is not a valid um, property name in JavaScript. And that's why of all of the ones here, it has quotes around it. So you can kind of sort of make it look like it's working. Um, let's go ahead and um, if we think about this, data from the columns is added by turning our county object into a county row, okay, an array. So um, in order to add another column, what we want to do is out of our data sub i element, we want to pull something with a property, okay, and just create a nice little parsed int property of a, with a related name over here, okay. So this is the data the API gives us. This is the object we're going to use to create our row from. And we're doing this thing where we're trying to make things into nice numbers and we're trying to make them um, into slightly nicer names. But let's just do the obvious thing here first. I mean, there's no use doing processing you don't need to do. So let's just try this. If I add a line here and Let's go ahead and call this, oh, and there's another thing that's weird about this is if you look at the numbers when they're printed out, you're gonna see that they actually aren't ratios, they are percentages. So I'm gonna um, anticipate that just a little bit. And I'm gonna call this um, property. My fatality percent. And what I want to populate that is with this property called case fatality ratio. Now, if I run that, I'm pretty sure I just immediately get an error message. Okay, and in the spirit of, um, yeah, so see, I don't get any data populated up here and this thing flashed red, okay. And see how this says fatality ratio well, what's happening here is that JavaScript is participating, is, is parsing this as, I, as take the property named case and subtract something called fatality ratio. <clears throat> now, I don't believe we can cure that in the parlance of the day simply by doing that. I'm pretty sure not. Let's try that. Yeah, you can't just stick a string there as the property name. So the only thing that works is to use the alternative annotation 
for properties. We haven't talked about this much. I think I've mentioned it one time, but one of the things you can always do with a property is treat it as if it was a named index into an array. And, and um, I don't really make you have to do that. In fact, I try to avoid it, which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this column and letting you do deaths. But let's, um, let's try that. Okay, so now I'm not getting any errors. Okay, so um, if you have what could be considered a poorly constructed API data structure um, that uses an illegal JavaScript name, the correct fix for that is to switch from dot notation to basically um, hash map or named array notation. Um, and, and, you know, as far as I know, this notation exists primarily to deal with this, although maybe some people who come from other languages really prefer their property names dealt like this. I don't know. Because um, you do see this in other languages more frequently. Okay, so I now have that um, as a valid number. If I, um, let's try, before I add that, let me just try logging county object. And if you think when I do these videos, I'm going super slow for your benefit, um, believe it or not, this is how I cope, is I just test a whole lot, okay? So notice how this fatality percentage has quotes around it, and, um, and the confirmed number doesn't. So remember what I said is that we need to take that string that we get from the API, okay, and convert the string to a number. So let's take a look at that in the logging. Okay. And, oh, yeah, that's not working because it's not an integer. Um, and that's too bad. Um, but that's why I built this guy, okay, which does two things. It's going to deal with that value as a, um, as a float. And it's also going to round it to two places, which will make it nicer. So instead of doing a simple parse int, let's round to two places, OK? And see if that gives us a number that we'd want to see in our table, OK? And that actually gives us a number we want to see in our table, OK? So um, your fatality percentages are percentages. They're not ratios. And in order to get them into nicely formatted numbers, we want to do that. Okay. So now, um, all I want to do here in county row is add that property. Okay, and let's see what our table looks like. Okay, and um, it doesn't break the table that I haven't added a header for it yet, but it's pretty ugly. So let's go ahead and go back up here to our heading list, which is um, added with that special header row function and call it fatality percent. And now you have a nicely formed table. We don't have an entry here yet, but like I said, you can't calculate that until you have your deaths column working. So that's how you, um, to add a column, you need to add the heading. It wouldn't hurt to do that in advance, but you can do it afterwards. You need to pull a new value out of your data object. If it's an integer, you can use parse int. If it's a decimal, you'll need to use round to two places in order to convert it over to a well-behaved numerical property in your object. And then um, if you're just adding a column, you just add it here to your county row 
and this change this call to county row doesn't change so i tried to make this um code as, as sort of versatile there was few places to change as i could make hope that helps <laughs>